Hey, you guys. So last night I finally watched Brightburn. You guys, listen. I wanted to watch Brightburn in theaters. My tiny little cinema, local cinema, has seven screens and usually like two or three are even the same movie. And yeah, it didn't even play Brightburn at all. And I was mad. Like I tweeted about it. I've rambled about it on here. So if you've seen some of my videos where I was like, I still haven't seen Brightburn because they didn't even play it in my local theater. Well, my friend sent me this. Oh, and I'm ever so thankful. Along with some really cool stuff. Uh, this fork, which I was like, I don't get it. I get it now, but I didn't get it at first. I was like, oh, a mangled fork. Okay, that's cool. Um, and this cupcake. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. This is crazy. Crazy. So, um, yeah. Oh, also this, which I'm going to put on my computer. It's pretty cool. Okay. So, let's get into my review for Brightburn. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Okay, I want to start off by saying that my husband was not a fan. We watched it last night in 4K. I loved it. I jumped. There's a spot part at the very beginning. I jumped a mile. I almost spilled my drink. My husband was like, you you knew that was coming. I'm like, I, I know. I knew it was coming. And I even said, oh, something's going to happen. It's going to make me jump. Something's going to happen. And I jumped. I jumped a mile. And this happened several times throughout the movie, which is what I love about like horror, creepy, scary movies. I, I jump and then I just started laughing. Like I laughed uncontrollably for like a minute, um, which I, I, I love that. So yeah, I, there was several jump scares, which I was a huge fan of. Uh -huh. But Brightburn just in general, like, so my husband said, listen, the plot is very thin. And I said, it's a horror movie. Were you expecting a thick plot? Because... Most horror movies don't have thick plots. Like, let's just be honest here. Like, you can tell from the trailers, like, oh, it's this kid who's kind of like evil Superman, really, right? It's a kid that falls from space or wherever, and he all of a sudden comes of age, and he's realizing he's got these crazy powers. His spaceship calls to him, exactly like Superman, right? Uh, and all of a sudden he's realizing like, oh, I got like super strength and like, I can, I can like shoot laser beams out of my eyes and all this stuff. And he starts hearing voices and the voices translate in his language to take the world. And so he's like, oh, I'm going to be a badass. I'm going to be, you know, uh, evil and whatever. And it's, so it's basically evil Superman really is what this story is. And it was fantastically done, um, I think. I mean, it was awesome. I enjoyed every second of it. I loved it. I'm big into, like, gory, creepy, nasty deaths because, I don't know, I have mental problems probably. Um, I, like, some, like, Final Destination, some of my favorite movies just because I loved seeing the, the ways people die and it's gory and it's gross and, like, there's one part in this that is disgusting like someone's jaw like breaks off it was so gross but at the same time I was like this is awesome also the glass in the eye which we saw in the trailers I was like man this is cool um and my husband tells me I enjoyed this movie only because I love everything James Gunn touches and well that is not entirely wrong because I do love everything James Gunn touches it is for a solid reason the man is brilliant in my opinion I think he's absolutely brilliant he's a visionary he's he's the, listen he's brilliant I mean I literally have his autograph tattooed on my body so yeah I'm a little bit of a fan of James Gunn um he's just he's I've, I've interviewed him twice and just to be in the same room as him he's just oh my god he's just so smart and he's like nerdy and and I just love it. And I'm so glad his presence is back on social media because I really missed it. I love seeing all the things he has to tweet, all this behind the scenes stuff that he posts on Instagram. Like, it's really awesome and really cool. I can't wait for him to take over Suicide Squad because it needs some help and he's going to kill it. But right now, now I'm rambling about James Gunn and not about Brightburn. So let me just say, I loved this movie. Like I said, there's, there's jump scares and there's crazy stuff, but the ending, like, Holy cow. So if you haven't seen this and you don't want spoilers, thanks for watching. Comment below and let me know, um, you know, uh, if you're going to watch it. But if you have already seen it or you don't care about spoilers, I'm going to get into a little bit of spoilers. Ready? Full warning. Spoilers are coming. Okay. So, 
again, it's a horror, right? He realizes this. He has this super strength. Like, he breaks this girl's hand. And he the girl's been nice to him. So he's all like, oh. And she's like, my mom doesn't want me to talk to you. And he's like, oh, I'll take care of that. And that's this. That's her. That he, the eye, the waitress. Um, so he gets glass in her eye. This, this cupcake is insanely crazy. If you can't really see it. There's like, ugh. That part was so disgusting. Lee, awesome. Like she's blood just like bleh, out of her eye. Oh, it was so, it was so crazy. Uh, gosh, I love this movie so much. So I love that stuff. I know I'm weird, but I love that stuff. So anyway, he takes care of the 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 mom. Right, she's missing, but he killed her. Um, and he put her down by a spaceship, which we see later. And she's like all opened up. You see her like insides and stuff. It's gross, but awesome, but gross. Um, but anyway, so then he goes and his dad, oh man, his dad, so his parents, they, they tell him, Hey, you came from space. You know, we didn't actually adopt you. We like found you and whatever. And, um, so his dad's like, I'm going to, cause he starts getting crazy and creepy. And then he kills his, his uncle, which is the one whose jaw just like falls off. It was so gross. It was so gross, but so awesome. I backed it up and I watched it a second time cause I don't know, I'm weird, but <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm admitting that. But anyway, so his dad's like, I'm going to take him away and be men, whatever. And immediately I'm like, oh, he's totally going to try to kill his son, like put him down like old yeller. That's immediately what I said. I said, he's going to try to put him down like old yeller, which is stupid because this kid can't be killed. But obviously, you know, the only thing that can cut him is the spaceship, which the um, mom figured out. And because uh, he cut himself on his spaceship at one point. And it was the only time he's ever bled, they said. But so the dad like shoots him in the head. Didn't kill him because, of course, and he tries to reload and shoot him again. And of course, he ends up killing his dad. Um, obviously, knew that was coming. But of course, you know, it was still awesome. So that's horrible to say. It was awesome when he killed his dad. Uh, so then he goes home he, or he, he, the mom is like calling the dad like, oh, my God, he actually really did kill Noah. Like, ah, get away from him, whatever. And the son's like, dad's gone. And he's like, and she's like, where? And he's like, you know. And I was like, what? That's crazy. Oh, my God. He just admitted that he, and then he's like, I'm home. And so he comes home and he's like, and they do this whistle thing at the beginning, which we knew was going to come back, but it was so creepy. Like when they, I can't whistle, but they were like playing hide and seek, basically whistling to find each other. So of course, like he's whistling to her and she's whistling to him in this like fight scene, and which is crazy. And he she tries to stab him with the uh, piece of the ship and she's crying because she's a mess because she always said, I'm going to protect him no matter what. I'm going to protect you no matter what. And then she realized like, oh, okay, he's, he's like killing people. I can't really do that. So <laughs> it's crazy. He catches her about to stab, stab him, right? And he pulls her up because he can like fly, right? So he, he flies her up into like way above the clouds and just drops her. <laughs> just drops his mom it was nuts I was like okay because I thought I did think I mean that was for me it was a twist like I expected oh the mom's gonna kill him and then that's gonna be the end no nope nope James Gunn is better than that James Gunn is better than predictable and he drops his mom and then he sees a plane and he takes the plane and he crashes it into the house and totally blames it on like a cra crash this crash killed his his parents and he's sitting there eating a cookie and they're like the only survivor is this cute little boy blah 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 mm -mm, mm -mm. so he's evil so he's still out there and then they show clips which michael rooker was was in there and i was super excited and i also noticed james gunn's girlfriend jennifer holland made an appearance she was his teacher she was um brandon's teacher at the beginning i was like hey that's jennifer holland i follow her on instagram she's very pretty um but uh yeah so so michael rooker's like this conspiracy guy and he's talking about all these other people and all these things that you see um and you know we see that this kid is still like destroying stuff uh but i was like man does this mean like I, so, okay, I'm kind of hoping, fingers crossed, I would really love, because there was all these other people, like, like a girl that can breathe underwater and stuff that Michael Rooker's talking about during the credits a little. I was like, James Gunn, please, James Gunn, hear me, hear me, James Gunn, please take all those other things and make them into other movies. That would be awesome. 
movies just like this, like evil superheroes. Oh, it would be awesome. So I give this movie like a four and a half out of five, if not a five out of five, just for pure fun. Like, yes, it's not a super thick plot. Yes, parts are predictable. But that end was like mind blowing to me. I was not expecting that at all. Um, and it's just so good and gory and gross. And I love that. And I'm here for it. So yeah, I've rambled way too long. If you guys have seen this, let me know in the comments what you think. Did you enjoy it? I mean, I just, oh, if there's scenes that I'm like staring and I can't look away, like a nasty car crash, like I'm all about it. All about it. Uh, you can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. Same as here. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me where I get my awesome shirts. This is one of them. Uh, I have a Tee Public link in my to my store. I have a store where I put all these shirts that I find. Um, it is an affiliate, so if you buy it, I do get a very tiny amount of money, like a dollar a shirt or something. Um, but yeah, that link is in in my description. So if you're looking for for something like that, especially around the holidays, I've been finding some awesome shirts that I stick them in my store whenever I see them. And what else? Yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss videos from me. And yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm rambling. I rambled way too long. But go, go watch Brightburn. Do yourself a favor and go watch Brightburn.